get up and stop groveling. There is something thou must know, as a holy quest is to be delivered unto thou. For there is an eleventh commandment. Thou must not bore the world, but entertain it. Hi. You might wonder why I'm sat here with the engine off. Well, let me tell you. I was going for a lovely day out, and there I was, you know, driving along. I'd programmed it into the sat-nav. Well, the sat-nav got stuck on left turn only. Look, it's just going left. So, without noticing, I've been doing left turns when really I shouldn't have been. I have no idea where I am. That's why you shouldn't put your faith in a sat-nav. Well, boy, you should have put your faith in me. Because, as you know, God moves in mysterious ways. Wasn't that a U2 song? Yes, it was. But in there, yes, the building to your left, there is a bloody good interview for you. A good interview, eh? What is it, then? Well, let me just say it involves men in Lycra. Say no more. I'm there. So here I am in a gym. And I'm with something that I didn't think exists in this country. Pro wrestlers. Hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. And you are? My name is beautiful Danny Beckwith. And I'm the natural package, Dan Bateman. There you are. Now, you are something that I didn't think existed in this country. You're pro wrestlers. We That's are right. pro wrestlers. How did you get into uh, well, it? Well, we sort of used to watch it, become big fans of it when we were kids. Uh, got to a point where we thought we're a bit, a bit old now to be fans. We're big enough and beautiful enough to uh, give it a go. So it's a dream, you know. Some people dream of being a doctor, a uh, policeman in the army. Like else was always a uh, pro wrestling. Player. Who was your, who was your character back in the old WWF days? Who was it you followed? Who you wanted to be? Undertaker for me. Was it? Yeah, it Gonna do your impression. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> please don't come after me. <laughs> and who was yours? Uh, my hero's always been Brett the Hitman Hart. You can't do an impression of Brett Hart. No. <laughs> Why can't you? It's too boring. <laughs> <laughs> what did it come out of? Obviously, because like wrestling, it, it looks very hard to do. I mean, is it hard? Yeah, it's not. Uh, you can't. Not anyone can just do it. Especially the pro wrestling. Um, it's because it's like an, it's an art. It's, the art's been a bit lost in it, but. It is, an, it is like an art form, you know? I mean, it's like expressive dance, it almost, but with violence <laughs> with, as well. With chops to the throat. Yeah, exactly. It's actors that do your own stunts. Is there any point, you know, in proper matches, I don't know if you can lift the velvet curtain on this, is there any point where they go, you know, it's obviously, you know what you're going to do, and then it's like, well, let's go for it for real. Here we go, this is where it's actually going to be a proper wrestle. Oh, a lot, a lot of the matches we do, it's called shoot wrestling, uh, which is real, real wrestling. You've got to go 100%. Or it starts to become dangerous. That might sound the wrong way around, but it's true. If you don't go 100%, that's when injuries start happening. I don't like the word fake, but we, it's when we sort of we had the guy down, we walk away, and we talk to the crowd. That's something you wouldn't no, do. That's acting. You wouldn't exactly. see that in cage raid or like something. Like actors that perform their own stunts. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. I like. I've always been a fan of wrestling. You know, as much as as much as some people go, go look at you, 28 years old. But it's one of those things you get. You get into it as a kid. It never goes away, does it? Exactly. Yeah. I think I could take you two down. Oh really? Yeah. He thinks he could take us down there. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. We'll have a go. So I need to borrow an outfit from you. Have you got anything you could put together for me? Mm, I reckon we could uh, put something together. Yeah. So I've got to wear these. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Right, I'm going to slip into something not very comfortable and take these chumps down. I've uh, changed into my outfit. We've talked about pro wrestling, we've talked about it. Now it's time to do it. I'm wearing an outfit with the posing pouch on, just to uh, check that out. Please, uh, we have got a CGI budget, haven't we, to make that bigger? Excellent. So, no, no, please, keep it up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, maybe have a go at it, because you know what, I've always wanted to have a crack at being a pro wrestler. So we've got, I'm the molester from Leicester, OJ, the molester from Leicester, and I'm going to be taking on Team Beautiful, yeah, beautiful bum wipe over there, Danny bum wipe, and the other one, the natural peanut packet, they ain't got nothing on me, who do they think they are? I'm going to take them down, I'm going to do my move on them, which I call the Maltese Falcon. <laughs> This move right here is called an arm bias, but a lot of stress, a lot of pressure on the joint of his arm. Any second, when he puts just the slightest amount of pressure, ah! that joint will pop. <laughs> this one's an old favourite. What's it? It's called the abdominal stretch. As you can see, his abdominals here, wide open. His guts want to literally burst from his stomach. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah! 
Now obviously what he's just done there is propelled him into the corner post. Uh, very painful on the back. Uh, not much advantage though if you're just leaving there like that, so... I'm quite happy to be left yeah. 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 This wrestling life for me ain't going too well, but uh, hey, just one second, sorry. Oh. Oh. Yes, that was my move there. When I worked and I called it a little left cheek sneak, a little dodge, you see. The art of wrestling isn't just about pure muscle. It's about being aloof, being movable like the wind, being able to just jump about. In fact, I'd say I'm pretty damn good. In fact, I'm the natural. I got an arm. <laughs> Mikey's ah. back! Ah. Oh, God. Yeah! Listen, listen, guys. Yeah. I've got a proposition for you. Uh, yeah. You know when they, people change teams? You know, proper... Proper etu brute, stabbing them in the back. Well, I thought, beautiful guy, can I join Team Beautiful? What do you reckon, Dan and Dan? Why didn't you ask? Is that a yes? You're in! Welcome aboard. The only problem, though, if you join Team Beautiful today, mm -hmm. who are we going to beat up? Hmm. Oh, that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. For another 11th commandment. I hope you've had fun. I certainly have. I'm now part of Team Beautiful. You want to see those guys you can do? Teambeautiful.co.uk. You want more from me? Email me 11 at btpodshow.com. Hang on, I'm just gonna. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, come out my face. I love it. Oh.